Hey YouTube shooting people. I'm glad to see there's been at least another video posted on uh, dry fire drills. I posted one uh, quite a while ago uh, that, that uh, talked about the importance of dry fire drills. What's a dry fire drill? Dry fire drill is a drill you can do in your house with an unloaded gun that will teach you basic pistol skills. This book by Steven Anderson is one of the Bibles of it, Refinement and Repetition. Um, and uh, it, it works through uh, very basic drills that are important for uh, any pistol shooter to increase your performance. These drills largely entail um, the basics, drawing from a holster and indexing on a target. What I mean by indexing is when you come out of that holster, you, you establish your grip, you extend your arms, your sight picture should naturally be on the target uh, it, it, if you're an IPSC shooter or a USPSA shooter in the A zone, if you're an IDPA shooter in the down zero zone, basically in the bullseye. These drills will help you do it. Uh, they, are, they will teach you how to draw from a holster, how to reload more efficiently. And it's all about building efficiency. The nice thing about dry fire drills uh, is that you do not have to go to a range. However, you need to proceed with the maximum degree of caution because you will be handling a firearm in your house or where in your garage, wherever. You can do it outside at a range too, of course. It's a great way of doing it, saving some money, uh, but you can still work on the skills because you're not going to be expending rounds. Let's face it, shooting is a very, very expensive sport. A lot of these drills will require that you use a shot timer. Here's a packed uh, club timer. It's a great timer. There's lots of other manufacturers that make good timers. I like this one because the, it's nice and big. You can, it's got a big LED screen or whatever kind of screen, LCD screen. I guess it's LCD screen. It's uh, nice and loud and um, you, can, you can right away um, see it. And there, there she goes. She's really loud. That's set to a par. You can set it to a par time, so you have a certain amount of time before, uh, before the the drill is over. So you set it for two second par time. You hit the bu hit the bu button, goes beep. Then two seconds later, goes beep again. So whatever you were doing, whether it's drawing from holster, indexing a target, you have to do that in that time. You can set that that par time anytime. And of course, it has just a regular timer for regular. Refinement and repetition is fantastic. It's one of the Bibles of shooting drills um, by uh, many people's accounts. The other Bible, of course, is Brian Enos's fantastic book, Practical Shooting Beyond Fundamentals. This really gets into the, the next level of the game, the mental level of the game more than anything. Uh, I can tell you, you're going to have to read this more than once to really understand the subtleties and think about what he says. All right. These are really good tools, uh, and I would recommend um, you know, thinking about using them. Okay, another great tool is uh, information that's available on pistoltraining.com. These are not dry fire drills. Not. I guess you could do them as a dry fire exercise, but really they're not dry fire drills. What are these drills? Well, these are basically skill building drills with live ammunition, that you, so you need to do this at your range. Pistoltraining.com has many drills uh, available to you. It doesn't cost you anything, and you can print out the targets. Here's a fine example. It's the 1-2-R-3 drill. Uh, so, again, this is a live fire drill uh, where you take your uh, pistol, two magazines. Load one with three rounds, load the other with three rounds. Okay. The idea of this drill is to um, do the following. Um, and here's how, here's how I would go about doing this drill. Set up this target, it's just a piece of printer paper, eight and a half by 11. There's a one inch square, about a one and a half inch diameter circle, and a three by five rectangle. You set this target at three yards. Um, you can move it out to five yards, etc. cetera. Um, and what, what you do is you load and make ready with the first magazine. It's got three rounds, okay? Load and make ready. If you don't know what load and make ready means, see me after class. Load and make ready. One shot into the one inch square. 
two shots into the one and a half inch or so circle, right? Whatever this is, I don't know. It's about it's about one and a half inches, and then reload three shots into the rectangle. What does this drill help you accomplish? One, it allows you to index on the target. You're only at three yards away, but these are real small. Now you can back up, you can enlarge your target and back up, whatever you like. You can make your own target, similar line. But what this does is allow you, first of all, of course, to work on your basic form of drawing and indexing on the target. Very, very important. Draw, you index, and you're being forced to index on a very small target. You can see how small it is. That will help you do it more accurately. It will help you on your transition to the next target, so you'll be able to transition and recoil management because you're going to put two shots into this. It will help you on your reload because you're going to reload because you're now going to be in slide lock. Because remember, it's one, two, three. Gun will go into slide lock. You reload. So it'll help you with your reload again and your transitions to, to the three shots that are going to be in this rectangle. Now, this is also going to help you with recoil control of the gun, okay, maintaining your sight picture during the recoil. You must learn how to establish a grip where um, that front sight keeps coming back to the, to the same spot every time. That's really ultimately what you want to do. Start this with no timer. Just set it up at three yards, start it with no timer, and try to continue to do it until all your hits are inside, or at least breaking the line, okay? Once you do that, you can apply a timer to it and see how long it takes you to do it. Be honest with yourself, misses don't count. Now you can play scoring games where you can, um, where you can get um, you know, down zero for everything inside, then add uh, three seconds to anything outside, or whatever you like, and see how you improve over time. This is a great drill. Um, Pistoltraining.com has all this stuff. I highly recommend the website. It's really, it's really good. And there's no nonsense. It's not like YouTube nonsense. They, they won't put up with it. They'll just kick your ass off there. Um, the other drill is called the dot torture drill. And here it is. Dot torture. Now what you can do is uh, simply print out this um, this uh, target, this target, and it has ten circles on it, right? Again, set this up at three yards, and you can move back. You can also replicate this and use three-inch diameter circles and set it up at five or seven yards. It's really up to you. I'd start real close, either with this one or uh, you know larger circles, and then move back as it gets easier for you. When you start nailing this, and you're at a hundred percent or a high percentage of hits move back, make it more challenging, right? So the way this actually works is you, um, on the first target, you draw and fire five shots slow fire into this target, okay? Dot torture. That's the first string. Second string, draw and fire one shot five times. So draw, fire, boom, reholster, draw, fire, boom. When you're reholstering, be careful. When you're drawing, be careful. Holstering and drawing and holstering are the two most, most dangerous things you're going to do. Be careful. Of course, these are going to have to be done at your range. Targets three and four are uh, a set. So what, what these are basically doing is allowing you no draw on this one, just five shots. So this is basically checking in with yourself, basic marksmanship, your form, indexing on target. Number two is really all, what, all of the above plus drawing. Targets three and four, you draw, you put one shot on three, one shot at four, do that four times. So again, this is all the above for one or two, plus a transition between three and four. Five, okay? Five is now working on a skill which involves your strong hand only. You draw, fire, five shots, strong hand, okay? Draw, boom, 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 etc. five shots here. Transitions again on six and seven. Draw two on six, two on seven. Reholster, do it again four times. Again, this dot torch is all available on pistoltraining.com. You can, of course, make your own uh, version of this. Eight, um, 
you start in the low ready position, gun in your weak hand, safety off, trigger up, trigger off the finger, low ready is down at a 45. Uh, five shots weak handed, so weak hand skills on number eight. Nine and ten are uh, a transition with a reload, so you draw uh, on one, draw, shoot, fire on, on uh, target number nine, reload, shoot at number ten. I hope you get it. Uh, so this is a, a really, really good drill. You can date it. There's a distance. You can fix your distance. I would start at like three yards for this, real close, start moving back, and, and your score. So you basically just tally up your hits. There's the people that do this. I hope you can see it. Um, where you can get the information. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't see it that great on the on the viewfinder, but you get my point. So that's what we have for some for some practice and uh, for becoming a better shooter. I hope you uh, I hope you find this useful. I hope you. Um, give it a shot. You can come back and tell me if you think these are completely useless or if you uh, think they're helpful.